WTOC's Alex Alexandra Vitali tracks traffic troubles on daybreak every day, but this week she's doing something a little different. She's clocking in at other jobs. Today, she goes behind the counter at a famous Savannah hotspot. Surrounding myself with ice cream, a dream come true, especially at a legendary eatery. Leopold's on Broughton Street, a Savannah treasure. The Leopold's ice cream started almost 98 years ago in 1919 here in Savannah. Three brothers from Greece came to this country and learned the art of ice cream making from an uncle and started making world famous Leopold's ice cream right here. We we'll use the finest, freshest, most local ingredients possible here at Leopold's ice cream to make our ice cream. Carrie and the gang wanted me behind the counter to create soda fountain classics. But first, I had to dress the part. Before the doors opened, veteran soda jerk Anderson Kennedy gave me a crash course. We are going to be making an ice cream soda today. Ice cream so, soda. what does this entail here? Okay, so first we're going to start off, we're going to get a pump of the vanilla syrup. Okay. I usually like to do about a pump and a half, maybe. Okay. Then you just shoot a, a little bit in there, not too much, not too little. Perfect. That's good, right? Okay. Yeah, that's absolutely perfect. So we'll mix it all up. Mix it all together. Ooh, that's thick. Yeah, it, <laughs> sometimes it takes a little, a little muscle work. But. Yeah. Okay, and now that we have the paste going on, okay. what we're going to do is we're going to hit it with this carbonated water, okay. kind of like a jet. So you really want to wow. hit it pretty hard. And now you'll get it <laughs> with a scoop of the vanilla. The vanilla ice cream. This one right here. Okay. Okay. Miss. Hit it. With the a little bit more. See, yours looks so much better than mine. This is not oh, even that's good. That's a pretty good first try. I mean, that's nice of you and all, but I don't think it does good. Hey, that, no, that looks good. Close. Everything looks good on a toilet plate. Yeah, that's, that's true. You have to try it and see if it's good. Oh, of course. You have to. <laughs> Give me your honest opinion. You don't have to be nice. No. You tell me how it really that's is. Really good. Okay. Now that I got some practice, it was time to try the real thing. Business quickly picked up. I got a little nervous as the line grew, but I jumped right in to serve my first customer. Double scoop of the rum bisque. Okay. So what you'll do is you'll come over in here, and you kind of want to make sure you get a couple of those cookies in there. When okay, you yeah, yeah. And he's sure. doing a double scoop. Okay. So. The line formed outside Leopold's is just as famous as the shop itself. But the crew keeps it moving. Customer service here. Here you go, sir. Best of all. Yeah, uh, yep. A top priority. Because we can make wonderful, fabulous ice cream all day long. But if our soda jerks are not friendly and personable and giving the best experience possible, you won't come back. And we feel like as Savannah, um, Savannah neighbors to all those who are around us that it's our responsibility to show everyone who comes through our door that Savannah Southern hospitality. So many flavors in the coolers, but vanilla is still the most popular. They do get creative and offer specialties to showcase the coastal empire. And then in summer we have something called Savannah Socialite, which is one of my personal favorites. It's a mixture of milk and dark chocolate and toasted Georgia pecans and bourbon infused caramel. Here you go. Thanks. Lots of smiles and laughter at Leopold's ice cream. But make no mistake, the job of scooping and mixing up ice cream classics is definitely an art. And don't forget, you can check out Leopold's website at www.leopoldicecream.com. From Leopold's, Alexandra Vitali, WTOC. Now it's time for me to go take a break. Good job. Well, so far this week, Alexandra has worked as a soda jerk and shrimper. Next on the list, flowers. She will work side by side with one of the area's busiest, busiest floral designers.